look at the housekeeping forecast scheduling and history module available immediately from resort data processing using our new Windows technology. Let's first look at the forecast of housekeeping requirements for the next seven days. In this example, today is Sunday, March 1st, 1998. By clicking the forecast link, we bring up a screen showing how many housekeepers will be required for each of the next seven days. In this particular example, tomorrow is March 2nd and there will be 43 rooms that will be dirty requiring a total amount of time of 13 hours and 30 minutes. Using an estimate of 4 hours and 30 minutes per housekeeper, this means 3 housekeepers will be required. You may configure each room for how long it takes to clean for each type of clean. For example, if we look at the detail on March 2nd, we can see that room number 112 is a two bedroom and it will require 15 minutes to clean tomorrow. Each room number has a different type of clean for each different cleaning type. For example, checkout clean as you can see is 30 minutes, a daily clean is 15 minutes. So the forecast shows up to one year in the future, the to total number of rooms, the total time that is required, and the estimated number of boards or housekeepers that will be required. On from the forecasting to looking at the current status of the house by clicking on the room status link here. The graph down here shows green as clean rooms, red as rooms that are dirty and still need to be cleaned, and yellow are rooms ready for inspection. Up in this section we show the same information divided out by class of guest. For example, guests that are staying over, we still have five dirty rooms and six rooms have been cleaned. So there were 11 total guests today who were staying over with six of the rooms cleaned and five still dirty. By clicking the stay over button in the bottom of the screen we then see the details. So room 103 has a stay over guest. It is currently clean. This screen can be used to change the room status. For example, if this room that is currently dirty is now ready for inspection, by clicking here the room goes to inspection. The top of the screen changes to show now one ready for inspection. If we make this room also ready for inspection, the top of the screen now shows that we have two rooms ready for inspection. Rooms can be changed from the screen by clicking or by using the phone housekeeping interface module and using the phone in the room. To see all vacant rooms, click on the vacant tab and all rooms are now shown as that are vacant in the bottom area. In this particular case, all the vacant rooms are clean. There are no vacant rooms needing to be cleaned today. You can also look at sleepers, which are defined as guests who were supposed to check out and didn't, and as we can see, there are no sleepers currently in the system. As for maintenance rooms, we do have two rooms that are currently in maintenance at the moment. To see all rooms in the property, simply click the total button, and every room in the property is now displayed in room number order. It is possible to easily change the sort criteria by clicking. For example, if I click on the occupancy button, we now have them sorted in occupancy status. First the checkout rooms, then the rooms in maintenance, then the stayover rooms. We can also sort, for example, by, by status. By clicking the dirty, we, we can now see just dirty rooms. And now only the dirty rooms appear. We'll put the display back in room number sequence by clicking over here, and then we need to clear the filter of dirty to show all rooms in room number order. It is also possible to use the status screen to see the status of any room in the property. For example, we can use the drop down window here to select room 105 and then look at the detail. We can see that room 105 is currently clean, its occupancy status is vacant, and it's a one bedroom loft. We can now close this window. So the room status screen is designed to provide a snapshot 
of the status of all rooms at a given instant in time. power of the housekeeping module is in the daily scheduling and monitoring of the progress of the housekeepers. Let's look at the scheduling function by clicking the edit schedule option. Each morning the head housekeeper would come in to work and click the create boards option. This then creates a cleaning record for each dirty room and assigns them to the housekeepers based on a logical pattern. For example, housekeeper 1 here has been assigned these rooms at the bottom to clean today. This report can be printed for the housekeeper to indicate, for example, they need to clean room 101, provide a daily type clean, which is estimated at 15 minutes, and this guest is checking out. In this particular example, there have been 10 housekeepers assigned, and the system would print a cleaning schedule for each of the 10 housekeepers. For example, this is the housekeeping schedule for Ann Erickson. Here is the housekeeping schedule for Becky James. Here is the housekeeping schedule, schedule for Mary Martinez. The top of the screen shows a summary for today. In this particular example, there are 126 rooms that were dirty today. 55 guests checked out today and still have dirty rooms. If we look at this uh, selection here, we can see the detail of all rooms that checked out today and still require a clean. Now let's look at the options for monitoring the status of the housekeepers. This graph shows the 10 housekeepers. Red indicates that this particular housekeeper number one has six dirty rooms, two rooms ready for inspection that have been cleaned, and five rooms that are cleaned and inspected. To view the detail on these rooms, double click any of the bars and the system will show each and every room. For example, room 101 is currently clean. Room 304 is currently dirty. This screen can be used to mark the rooms as a different status. For example, if this room is now ready for inspection, by simply checking here, we have changed its status of these three rooms. Most customers change the room status, however, from the phone in the room. For example, when the housekeeper has finished cleaning the room, they can pick up the phone and press star 2 to make the room ready for inspection. When the inspector finishes inspecting the room, he can use the phone in the room to type another code, for example star 3, which will make the room clean and ready for the guest. You can also check the status or change the status of any room in the property using the drop-down box here. For example, room 103 we can currently see is clean and ready to go and is occupied by a stayover guest. The monitor screen can handle up to a hundred different housekeepers simultaneously and will automatically refresh as rooms are cleaned, inspected, or become dirty again. seen previously that the module can forecast housekeeping requirements for future days and track the daily schedule and progress. Another important aspect is historical tracking. Let's analyze our history of housekeeping department. In this example, from February 19th to March 1st, we're going to display the history. We can see here on February 19th, housekeeper with initials BM cleaned room 101. we can see that it was a daily clean with an estimated clean time of 15 minutes and an actual clean time of 16 minutes. We have seen that the housekeeping module can forecast future requirements and also do the daily scheduling and tracking of the performance of the maids. Now let's look at some of the historical features by looking at the his history. 
We can pick any particular day and display the history. In this example, on March 1st, we can see that this particular housekeeper was assigned 13 cleans, this housekeeper was assigned 12, and we can pick any past day and see what happened on that particular day. On February 28th, if we display the history, we can see we really had a short day and we only had 18 cleans for this housekeeper and 15 for this housekeeper, and of course the detail is available by the plus sign. So in this mode, you may pick any particular day and see all the cleans for that day sorted by housekeeper. It also shows for you the estimated total cleaning time and the actual cleaning time to evaluate the performance of the housekeepers. Another useful way to look at history is the analysis screen. In this mode, you can select any range of dates. In this example, we have February 19th until March 1st. We display our history, which shows every single room that was cleaned in date order. Now, it's very useful to sort these a variety of ways, which can be done by this grouping capability. For example, if we want to see the cleans by day, we simply drag the date column here, and we can see on March 19th we had 35 cleans, on March 27th, sorry, on February 27th we had 40 cleans. We can remove this, and for example, let's see how the housekeepers were doing. We can see in our history that in total, Housekeeper AE has had 13 cleans, where Housekeeper GX has had 133. If we look at Housekeeper GX, all 133 cleans would be displayed here for this particular person. Removing the Housekeeper from the sort criteria, let's look at the room numbers. We can see that by dragging the room number up here, we can see that room 101 has been cleaned 11 times, where room 119 has only been cleaned once. Again, the plus signs will let us see the detail on any particular room. Another useful way to look at the history might be by estimated cleaning time versus actual cleaning time. This, again, tracks the performance of the housekeeper. Look at some of the reports that are available in the housekeeping module. All reports use crystal reports so they can be easily modified by the customer. By clicking at this housekeeping link, we see some of the standard reports that are provided. For example, let's go look at the estimated versus actual time for each housekeeper to clean rooms. We select here and preview the report. We are prompted for how back, far back in the past to go. Let's go to the, from the beginning of this year, January 1st, 98, in these demo files. In this example, we can see that in total, the average time in minutes for this particular housekeeper was estimated at 28 minutes, and their actual time is 13 minutes, so they're doing very well. In fact, all of our housekeepers appear to be beating the estimated times consistently. This can mean we either have good housekeepers or we're poorly estimating the cleaning time. Let's close this report and look at some other reports. A very useful report is to look at all of the current dirty rooms. If you preview this report, every room that is currently dirty is listed on the report along with who is scheduled to clean it. Let's look at other reports. Clean quality by housekeeper. If we ex select this report for again since the beginning of the year, let's see what we get. In this particular case, we can see housekeepers and their cleaning record. The housekeeping module is an excellent tool to forecast the scheduling requirements of the property, monitor the daily schedule and status of housekeeping, and track the history of all housekeeping records. The module is available immediately from Resort Data Processing and uses RDP Windows technology. Thank you for your time.